All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, Chadwick Boseman Day, observed on the um, 19, 29th of November, is held on the late star's birthday and is a day for us to remember the actor who sadly left us too soon. Um, Bosman was perhaps most famous for playing Black Panther in a Marvel franchise, but also played James Brown in Get On Up, uh, as well as featuring prominently in 21 Bridges and 42. Known for his welcoming, humble personality and down-to-earth nature, Bosman died on the 28th of August in 2020 as a result of some complications due to colon cancer. Now, he was 43 years of age when he died, and on um, Chadwick Bosman Day, we remember his talent, but also the wonderful person that he was. I mean, if you watch the Wakanda Forever, it was all over the place. You could tell that, you know, there was just something missing, missing and they just tried so hard to ensure that his presence or his absence, mm -hmm. you know, wasn't felt that much. But they tried, but way, it's yeah. still, they still... It wasn't the same. It wasn't the same, but mm -hmm. hey, I mean, Chadwick, I mean, just watching the clips after he had passed, different interviews and everything, he was just a warm person. He had so much strength. The thing yeah. that I found really big about it was that he had been going through it for years. And there were interviews where he had fallen asleep because he was just fatigued from all the drugs. And people didn't realize that and he was ill. Him. And they were insulting yeah. him. He's losing weight. Meanwhile, a friend of mine lost a son from the same colon cancer. Shortly after, he didn't get to live as long as Chadwick did with it. And he suffered. So when they say truly that you never know what someone might be going through, for instance, Tenny who just lost weight, she, we don't even know if it's intentional, if it's cosmetic. Do you understand? So let them announce what the changes are all about. Mm -hmm. I'm just Absolutely. bringing it I, no, this another way. Important because I remember because you never know. I remember how people were just, you know, like attacking him and all of that. Mm -hmm. and nobody knew. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Yeah, I just feel bad that is that the peak when his career was just taking off. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Sad. All right, so quickly, let's run through our stories because we have a lot to unpack for the topic today. We have to run through. <laughs> um, let me start with you, Mary. Three Nigerian stowaways sto rescued dehydrated after spending 11 days on the rudder of a ship to the, from Nigeria to the Canary Islands. They were found perched on the rudder of the Alintini oil tanker at the Las Palmas port by Spanish Coast Guard. Um, I don't know how sad it is that we now have I'm to... I'm happy that Japa. they found them alive. But I keep on saying... They're happy they found them alive. Yes, they because be most happy. times, no. Why would they not be happy that they found them They're going to take, take them back to Nigeria. Yeah, let them take them back to Nigeria. Because that was some, not the point of, of taking died. the risk. No, but some of them have died. Won't they rather they die? <laughs> Just let me land on somebody else. <laughs> I don't else's. understand. They are, have you seen documentaries about stowaways and all the people that have tried to go to... Turkey through it's different, different they don't care. Just there's a, there's a new movie on, on Netflix, I think Swimmers, the Swimmers, I don't know if you've yeah, seen it. I haven't about seen it. About when about the, the war turned, when they left, the two sisters that left and they were, you know, of course Trying they had to, to get go away. cross the high sea and all. See, my point is, I'm happy that they found them alive. True. You know, True. I'm happy that they found them alive because the things that you hear, how you see a dead body dried up, you know, and mm. all of that, because, yeah, because they and were the dehydrated. And the they would have had to live with. Yeah. I'm happy that they were found alive. Um, NJ, your story quickly. Mine says the value of food imports in the second quarter of 2022 stood at uh, 464.45 billion, showing an increase while compared to the value recorded in the first quarter, which was about um, 443.36 billion. This was data. This is data from the National Bureau of Statistics. And it's saying that the country has failed to grow more food for its fast uh, rising population, which has made, you know, imports, brought the value of the imports so high between the first quarter and the second quarter. I think that that's a difference of about, yes, it has increased by 4.76%. You know, and this is only, it only gets, it seems like it's only it going to get worse. 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 And worse. And worse. And worse. And worse. Mm. So, <laughs> it's and worse. it just shows that we have a lot to, there's a lot to do in this country. Absolutely. Um, Lady, your story quickly. Very quickly, I just want to say, um, Thames says that I am not your Christian savior. I won't fit into the box you're trying to put me which I can summarize by telling, referring everybody to Philippians 2, 12 to 13. 
work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and stop using fellow humans as um, role models and then trying to chastise them for living their lives and playing judge and jury. Mm. Let me keep it brief so we don't... Let's keep it brief. Oh. Yes. All right, so NANS, um, the National Association of Nigerian Students, had, has apologized to Aisha Buhari, the wife of the president, um, over the arrest of the student uh, of the Federal University, um, Dutse Jigawa Aminu Mohammed, right? I mean, that's the topic we're discussing today. So condemnation, of course, had trailed the arrest, and you know, it was alleged that it was DSS that had picked the guy, but it then, they came out to find out that it was the Federal Capital Territory Police who had traced uh, Mohammed to Jigawa, where he was picked up, right? And um, Nans has um, apologized to, on behalf of the student, and they are also asking for his release. And um, <laughs> this is really interesting. Making um, a statement. Uh, yeah, let's leave the conversation for when we go into the conversation. I just okay. wanted to mention that. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's leave the conversation. So when we come back from the break, that's our conversation for today. Um, of course, we're discussing power drunkenness, and we're asking, is it possible to curtail in this country? Stay with us. We'll be right back.